up YouTube? Uh, I wanted to make this video kind of, uh, you know, a while ago. I know that some of you guys have been asking me, um, you know, when is the next YouTube video gonna happen? Uh, we haven't seen a video from you in very long. Uh, what happened to you? You know, like all these different things. And uh, you guys, I've, I've been meaning to make a video for a while, but uh, there's been some, a few things that, uh, have kind of gotten in the way of, of all of that and I, it, I think it's fair that you know some of you guys hear that because I've developed some pretty good friendships with uh, a lot of you out there and the, and the only means of really communicating with each other that other than you know social media is through videos so I think that it's important that I do this uh, if this is your first time ever uh, watching a, a video of mine I'm Summer Nomad I actually uh, do a lot of VEX videos or used to do a lot of VEX videos um, in the past and if you like what you hear or you know you've watched any of my previous videos and um, you enjoy them please subscribe uh, follow the channel I'm hoping to be doing some more videos but uh, I wanted to kinda get this off of my chest before before anything else but so why did I stop making videos why did I stop making videos so there were a lot of reasons one of the one of the biggest reasons was and, and some of you guys will be like nah you, there's no way yeah and I think I, there are more people that I'm finding out there that really just don't like what I'm doing so one of the one of the things that uh, kind of got to me was we were at a specific competition this year and uh, my students are always the ones that actually compete. I'm, I'm never the one out there, as you guys have seen. Um, I don't even actually uh, touch any of the robots that my students build. I give them guidance. I let them know where their problems lie. Uh, I'm a coach. You know, a coach doesn't play on the field. And so I felt that my role was always to promote my students and to have their back and to give them the best possible chance to win by, by giving them the right wisdom. Well, we were at a particular comp competition, and uh, a student came up to me, a uh, few students actually, uh, came up to me, and rather than come up to me and introduce themselves and say hi and, um, you know, say hi to my team, the first thing they said, um, right, coming right up to me, was, it looks like your team is not going to be very good this year. You lost all of your good people. That was their first, that was their first words. <laughs> their first words to me. And so, as you can imagine, I was kind of shocked, like, whoa. Uh, first of all, I don't know, I didn't know, you know, I don't know them. And second of all, if, you know, if the first thing that you say to me is something negative about my team that's already not a good sign of these people liking you <laughs> and so um it wasn't it wasn't the the comment it wasn't the comment that bothered me so much as what the comment meant and i think that that was the biggest thing i i knew right then and to be honest it the the comment itself brought about thoughts and those thoughts turned into they wouldn't be thinking this if uh, I hadn't made any YouTube videos. If I hadn't posted Greatest 30 Days in Vex, if I hadn't posted uh, wins that they had won, if I hadn't posted the state championship, you know, if I hadn't made the, the world's videos, if I, hadn't if I hadn't done all of that, this kid would not know who I was actually who my team was and that's what became the issue for me was the fact that I was directly responsible for all the negative things that were happening and uh, being that it was at the beginning of the year what I what I didn't want and I guess what was in my mind was the fact that everywhere I looked everyone was thinking the same thing and everyone had this this it seemed like everyone had this negative connotation this negative, uh, you know, oh, that's, it's that team. 
And my YouTube channels have, my YouTube videos have never been, that's never been the source of it all. I've always wanted to make like a, a, a really cool um, community where everybody is for each other and not against each other. And I, I'm, I'm, you know, a very friendly dude and you know, anyone that comes up to me, I shake their hands and say hello. I didn't even get mad at the people that said that because that's all they said and then they walked away. I didn't even get a chance to respond. That's how, that's how lame it was. And uh, I felt directly responsible for that. I felt like I was putting my students in a light that was not conducive to success. I felt like the added pressure that I was putting on them was extremely unnecessary. Whether they could handle it or not was not the point. The point was, should I even do it? And I chose, you know, I chose not to. I chose to skip it all. I chose to just forget about it and um, let, let us have a season without having to worry about any of that stuff. And, uh, and the crazy thing is that wasn't the only time that that's happened. We were, one of the things, we were at another competition and we was, it was just regular matches. And I don't think teams really understood what it was doing at the time, but um, you know, teams would literally get louder and, and want us to lose more than anyone else. <laughs> and it, it, was, uh, it was crazy. It was weird. You know, it was, it was more of a, we want you to lose and we want you to lose really badly. And I, I, I didn't want, I don't know, it just was really, really different for me mentally because I felt like I brought that on and it was my fault. So, uh, I decided to stop making videos and uh, along with that was thoughts of how I could fix that and believe it or not I had severe anxiety going to uh, robotics competitions um, severe anxiety and uh, a lot of times too I, I mean for the majority of the season I, I had a really hard time sleeping and because I would wake up thinking to myself what can I do to fix what I've already done? And um, it was really hard for me to communicate that to anybody. Um, so I just didn't. And um, I just dealt with it the whole entire season. Um, what, it, what does it mean going forward? Well, the, the biggest thing is I just wanna build a, a, the right audience. You know, I, I want the people that are watching the videos to, to communicate to each other, to love each other, to, to share ideas that are going to help people, especially if you're in different states, you know, like, you know, you're in a different state and you need help with a certain problem. I want people to be able to have the, the, not only the knowledge and the know-how, but just the love to be able to do it without any regard saying, Hey, you know what? I'm part of summer's group and you know what? We, we help each other. So if you need help, what do you need help with? So, something simple as that and and that type of community helps to not just not only help the the vex community in itself but people in general understanding that life is is more about developing friendships and creating community than separating everybody for no apparent reason just because you don't want to see them succeed you know a lot of times when i see other people um you know, playing that I know that are really good mentally. I know that I can't, I, I outwardly say, yes, I'm thankful that they won, but you know, I, I'm actually cheering them on because some people need that, that success in order to know that they've done something really good for themselves. And for someone to come and say, you know what, I want you to lose, you know, that, that, that's a little, a little bit over the top, you know? Um, uh, and, I just want to be the right person to bring people together. And that, that's mainly it. Uh, how did our year go? How did our year go this year? We actually uh, won the skills portion of the High Desert League, where I'm from, which allowed us to advance to the state championship. But uh, uh, we were able to go to the state championship. We didn't win, and that's OK. But we still had a successful year. We actually signed up for the Google tournament um, right when it opened. 
And it was probably one of the most rewarding experiences for me because it got it gave me the chance to speak to some really great people. And I'm going to actually say their names here. And hopefully you guys are watching. But uh, Aaron Lucas, who is um, a part of the, I believe, Area 51 um, BattleBots group. Uh, he was a referee at Google. And he said some... He said some really encouraging words to me at a time when I wasn't really thinking about it. Um, as well as Edwin Kang and Coach Cameron, uh, all of you guys, when we were having that conversation. And, uh, you know, Aaron, you, you specifically, and Edwin and Cameron, you know, you guys, not only was I sharing who I was to you um, because we were meeting each other for the first time, but it was also a really, a really cool way for me to understand how far uh my channel has come because i didn't expect you know you guys are great men and uh the fact that you watched it and had something positive to say really encouraged me and um i appreciate that because not a lot of people do that towards me uh and and the fact that you came to me and and you guys were you know we were chopping it up and and asking questions and i was talking to you asking you guys you know about your programs and stuff like that we need more of that um, more positive interaction between not only coaches but also you know the the kids themselves they need that that behavior needs to be modeled in some way so um, I'm thankful for the opportunity to be able to speak with you guys hopefully we can keep in contact um, I also want to give a super special you know shout out and and just a spotlight to uh, Z squared um, for those of you guys who don't know, they're actually a, a robotics team out where I am, not in the high desert, but in Southern California. And uh, last year, uh, I think they suffered the most out of, you know, most anguish out of most teams. Um, whether it been at, at each tournament that they were at, they came so close to winning, but didn't. And, you know, this is what I talk about, good things happening to great people. Z Squared is probably one of the greatest teams that I've had the pleasure of meeting. Um, and they even came to, the, came to Worlds to support my team because they loved us. And um, I wish I had the money to, to do the same for them, but this year was their year. This year was the year that they won everything. This was the year that they won you know, the state championship. This was the year they won all the tournament champions. Um, and I'm proud of them. And I, and, I, and I think it would be a disservice of me to not spotlight them and tell them, you know, thank you for supporting me, and and in turn, I've supported. I have supported you guys all this year. I followed the journey. Um, I wish I could have gone to to all the tournaments, but I've been watching and the whole time with my fist in the air, like yes, yes, they're doing it. It they're because they deserve it, um, and I think that needs to go around to other people. Uh, also, too. One of the things, one of the other reasons why you didn't see us around in Southern California very much, you guys, was, uh, you know, we didn't, we didn't really have the funding to go to uh, all of those tournaments this year. We spent a lot of money last year uh, getting to the different tournaments, but then also, too, like, you know, registering and traveling and all that stuff costs a lot of money when you have multiple teams. And um, we just could not afford to do that this year. And... Obviously, we took a hit. We weren't able to really, uh, I think we only did really two tournaments, uh, two big tournaments this year, the, the league and uh, um, Google. But other than that, we did really small tournament. We did one really small tournament one day, and that, that was about it. Um, but that was, that was another reason. So uh, thank you guys for watching the video again. I appreciate everything that everybody's ever done, all the positive things that everybody's ever said to me. Um, I, I'm not going to stop making videos, but uh, this was definitely a year of reflection for me. And I'm just hoping to learn from all of it and, and hopefully everybody else, you know, learns from the experience as well that I've, that I've shared. Um, and the main goal, you know, of the channel is always to just create positivity and encouragement, never negativity. So if you ever see me out there, don't ever think that I'm gonna come to you with a negative response. If anything, I'm gonna really encourage you to be the best you could possibly be. And if I could help in any way, you know, do that, I I'm definitely willing. But thanks everybody for watching. Uh, missed you guys. Hopefully we get to, to interact with some of you guys. 
you know, whether it's uh, through Instagram or whatever, but have a great, great uh, upcoming season. Um, when I get the field, the video will come out. So, good luck to everybody.